allowed to eat breakfast like a cereal or a muffin on Shabbos morning before Shu, or do we wait till when the no, rabbi no, says no, 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 the kiddush no, no. after service at the Shul? Exactly, exactly. Wow, wow, wow. Okay, that's a good question. So as we, as we said, um, even today we, we mentioned it's not allowed uh, for a person to to eat before davening. Like especially, it's very strict, especially for men, very strict. Why? Because uh, a man is obligated to daven when, uh, when uh, um, with, a, what is it? With, a, with, a, with a dawn, whenever it's dawn, whatever the daybreak, like before, before, before the sunrise, then obligation comes up on, on the man uh, to, to pray. On the women, not so much. So women, women technically, there is no problem. A woman, if she wants to eat, there is no problem whatsoever. She can eat uh, before she davens uh, shachris. But for men, so and I'm just draw the parallel. So if he if he needs to to drink some water, let him drink some water. If uh, he needs to to drink coffee, like coffee, but no more. Mizoinus for sure, for sure no. Okay. Mizoinus for sure no. I mean, unless unless a person, let's say elderly person, or he he's sick, she's sick, like a person is re recovering from from a disease, yes, uh, just for for a person for purposes to to get its strength, yeah, there is no problem there. But otherwise, uh, we don't eat before the dawning. And for women, so if she can get uh, like uh, if she not um, like especially in Shabbos morning, since she's not going to work, she, like. Unless she has like very busy schedule, so she's allowed to eat. But otherwise, it's preferable not to eat, like or eat like minimum of the minimum of the minimum, whatever you require. So if you you can go buy with the only drink, or water or tea, do that. Mm -hmm.